Hello and welcome to another edition of Dana Lynette. I am Dana Lynette and I'm so glad you're here. Tonight we are going to talk about my 11 month update. I say 11 months, it's actually a little early. Um, today is October 24th. I will officially be 11 months in my micro locks journey um, November 3rd. And so what is that? Next week or something like that. And so we're going to call this my 11 month update. Okay, so the things that I have on my list to talk about, and I have a list so that I don't ramble, but that probably happens anyway. Uh, we're going to talk about dandruff. We're going to talk about budding, bunching, uh, locking, and what I mean is a progression of where I feel like I am in my locking process, length, and am I still loving the journey? Let's get into it. Okay, so as far as... Um, now let's jump down to the bottom the bottom of the list. Am I loving this journey? Yes, I am. I am so glad I locked my hair. I'm so glad I'm on this journey. I am not where I want to be, but I know where I'm going. Uh, and let me just try my editing skills here. I'm going to try and snap some photos off the internet of people whose hair I just admire. We're talking long sister locks or micro locks that are just i'm all into it okay and that's the goal that's what i see uh even though you know my length is where it is so let me insert some of those pictures now okay so those are pictures of uh my goals those are gold micro lock goals for me um and so yeah i'm loving the journey i will say in this first um month go it's not, i mean this month first 11 months which is practically a year what I've noticed with my uh, type 4B, really um, kinky, coarse hair, is that it has, in, the, in these first 11 months, mostly uh, grown upward. <laughs> you know how curly hair, when you lock it, you know, especially when you start like I did on blown out hair, it's going to curl back up and, and so shrink. You know how our hair shrinks? And then after it, it's to a point where it's not going to shrink anymore, then it starts to grow down where you see the length. And so, you know, it depends on the type of hair that you have uh, and just your hair in general of, you know, how long it will take for your hair to actually start realizing length. So um, I really need to look at getting some photos. Hopefully I have photos that I can plug into this video. If not, you'll see them at my one year mark video, which is coming up um, December 3rd is my one year mark. December 3rd, 2021. So hopefully I'll have pictures to show the difference, but I'm thinking my hair shrunk and then started realizing length to where I am almost at where I started. So when I started, my locks were probably right at my neck as if they were like hitting my shoulders in the back. A little shorter than that in the front, but not much shorter than that. And so now when my hair is um, not curled, it's, it's sitting right at my neckline. It might be like an inch shorter than when I started. So it took a whole year, practically, for my hair to, uh, you know, shrink up and, and start locking and get to a place where it would start growing down. It took a long time for me to get that out. <laughs> So that is a perfect segue, I think, into um, the locking process. So I feel like my hair is, you know, the kinkier and the more coarse your hair is, uh, the more prone it is to lock and to do so quickly. I want to say around my four-month mark, I started noticing that the locks in the back of my hair were pretty much locked and what i mean by that is you couldn't see the twist pattern anymore um from where i started my locks my micro locks with two strand twist they're diy by the way if you didn't know and yeah it was like toward the bottom back some of them most of them i didn't see the twist pattern anymore it was just locked and then around the six month mark i would say the whole back of my head was pretty much like that you know they were, they were locks um not very mature locks obviously, but they didn't have the twist pattern anymore. So my hair was definitely locking, still shrinking though, but locking. And now that I'm at 11 months, I think that there's very few um, locks in the front 
that have a twist pattern. Like, let me, I don't, I don't, I don't see the, wait, do I see the, I don't know. I don't, do I see a twist? Do you see a twist? <laughs> Anyway, I'll have to, at my one-year mark, go through my head. But I think um, there are a few locks in the front area of my head that still have the twist pattern. But most, the pattern is gone. So, I'd say my hair will be all locked uh, before I'm at, you know, a year and a half. And so, that's good. Now, the shrinking, is that on my list? I feel like the shrinking at this 11 month mark has pretty much stopped. Like I feel like when I wash my hair, when I get out of the shower and unbraid it, if I've braided and banded, it, then my hair is not going to be shorter when by the time it's dry. Like it's, I feel like it's done with the shrinking. And I have, like I say, been noticing the length. Cause if you look at my, I think it's my six month mark video. You know, when I got out the shower, my hair was like up to here, but like today, you know, like I say, it was stretched out like this and, and it was, you know, longer. <laughs> so that's good. 11 months. What else? Dandruff. Okay. So I thought that I was going to be able to get on here and say, you know, I started out in those first couple of months dealing with dandruff because I already had dandruff before I locked my hair and I don't have it anymore. But that's not the case. I've actually been noticing um, over the past month. Or so past several weeks um, some flakes on my clothes when I wear dark colors and so I actually don't think that's dandruff I think it could be but I'm thinking it's um, where I put I use kinky curly now today leave-in conditioner um, but I'm trying to test now to see if I just don't put product in my hair and just only put oil then am I still gonna see flakes so I'm thinking maybe the kinky curly not today. I mean, I didn't put anything else in my hair other than shampoo, um, except the hairline where I, you know, gel my edges down. But um, as far as like what's going on in the back of my head, I'm thinking it could have been leave-in conditioner because I used to use it like every week. So I'll get back with you guys and let you know if it seems like um, that was it. Also, the weather is changing. So when I, I started my locks in December, you know, I tend to have dry scalp in the colder months and so I use something heavy like castor oil to combat that so it's November I mean it's October right now going on November and so I'm thinking maybe I've been noticing that because maybe it is dandruff because the weather is changing I don't know um we're still in autumn fall so I'm still figuring this thing out but it's nowhere near like when I started like when I started the dandruff was out of control crazy and so I'm not dealing with that now I just I've just noticed a little bit of dustiness and so I'm still assessing the situation okay <laughs> So, uh, but for the most part, it's it's really not problematic. I haven't been oiling my scalp. I just haven't. So I'm gonna get back to that, and like I said, I'll report to you guys on the on my assessment of that down the line a little bit. Budding and bunching. Uh, at the six month mark video, y'all, I will link my playlist in the comments. Y'all, look at the six month mark video and I showed you, I think it was six months, some, some craziness that I had going on. I actually feel like some of that corrected itself by me going back to braiding and banding. Um, I haven't like undone any locks. I'm just not the person that will do that. Um, I tried one lock and it just didn't work for me. So um, I am having budding for sure. Uh... I don't know if I have anything to show you. I guess you could see that that is some budding. But I had like some real, y'all right, might remember some of my previous videos. I had some like real crazy situations going on where my ends were like so fat and lumpy. But I feel like things are, I, I kind of feel like some of these things have corrected themselves. I thought about trying retwisting and interlocking, like, you know, maybe interlock once a month and retwist anytime I felt like I would need it. But a friend of mine helped me realize that that's probably not gonna be successful with just water. And I don't wanna put gel in my hair to retwist. So I'm probably not gonna be retwisting. I just wanted to make my locks a little smoother like people that I see who retwist, but I'm okay, they're fine. Bunching, um, I don't deal with bunching anymore now that I have realized that, you know, I was, I jumped the gun on the 
braiding and banding. As long as I braid and band for wash day, um, I'm good. Now today when I washed my hair, I, you know, I just put a few braids in the front because I was in such a hurry. But I also put rollers in my hair um, as soon as I got out of the shower so it didn't have a chance to bunch up. But yeah, I'm not really dealing with bunching anymore. But my hair was getting real bumpy and ugly there for a minute just because I jumped the gun, wasn't braiding and banding. I wasn't stretching my hair out um, at all, just wearing it in its shrunken state, which is okay. But like I say, that's how I started getting messy and, you know, frizzier than I wanted and all that. So I went back to the braiding and banding. And uh, I think that that kind of helped me correct. And just braiding my hair regularly. Um, I like the crinkle at the length that my hair is right now. So I think I went through all of my notes. Length, yeah, I talked about length, how I feel like I'm, at my one year mark, I will be about where I started. If if not just a few centimeters, no more than an inch shorter than where I started. So it's not what I expected, but you know, my hair is fuller than when I started. I'm so grateful, <laughs> I'm so thankful for that. Again, I have 240 some locks. Um, and yeah, I interlock on about every four, to five weeks. Um, four weeks is a good schedule for me. My hair has been growing quickly. And yeah, did I show you guys my style? I'm a, I'm a, I was a wedding guest tonight, so Let's see if I can show you my little outfit. My little outfit. Went to a wedding, and so this is how I chose to style my hair. But anyway, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm gonna try to have something a little more exciting. On here I tried to do a get ready with me for this wedding but that didn't pan out but um, I'll have more up close and personal looks at my hair for my one year mark coming up in December stay tuned if there's um, anything that you guys want from me a Q&A or anything just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to oblige you can also check out my Instagram which is not popping but it can be if you swing by and uh, I'll apply myself a little more that's the locked lawyer on Instagram the locked lawyer all right thanks for stopping by catch you on the rebound